Yes, good morning, everybody. Am I audible? <clears throat> so let's continue as a cotton textiles. Cotton textiles, one of the earliest types of industry set up in our country. During as a British age, the first cotton textile industry set up at the Bombay in 1854 by Britishers through the Parsi entrepreneur. The location of factors responsible for the growth of a cotton textiles as the hot and humid weather conditions of coastal regions, cotton producing areas lies in a black soil regions of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra, easy to access towards the Kanla and Mumbai ports, which has well connected with the railways and the roadways. Large distribution of a population in adjoining parts of a <clears throat> Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, supportive for the availability of cheaper labor for a cotton textiles. Now the next topic has a challenges, the problems associated with the cotton textiles. Problems associated with problems of cotton textiles, cotton textile industries, cotton textiles industries. The first has an erratic power supply, erratic power supply. Erratic power supply influence on a influence on location of a industries due to as a shortage of a power supply, such industries they can't as a function as their cent percent. They are can't they can't work as a efficiently. First problem challenge associated with the cotton textiles in India are first is the erratic power supply. Second, as an obsolete machinery, the outdated machinery. Machine. Outdated older machinery used in a cotton textiles, which is as given as a less output. Less output as compared to the demand. <laughs> as compared to the demand, the less output has given by the those machinery which has used in a such cotton textiles which were located at the time of a independence or before of its third as a stiff competition with the synthetic fiber competition with synthetic fiber <clears throat> stiff competition with the synthetic fiber next fourth is a lower productivity of labor lower productivity of labor lower productivity of labor. All these are the challenges which are facing by the cotton textiles in India at present. These factors result in loss to the mills. Present competitive scenario <clears throat> requires total upgrade, upgradation of mills and processing technology and emphasis on the export of finished goods. Presently, as are a large number of a yarn, a large number of a thread yarn directly as exported towards as other countries. And afterwards, as their manufactured goods are selling in Indian markets at high rates. For example, if you are taking as example, example <clears throat> that uh, if the 100, if the 1 kg of a yarn selling at the amount of a 80 rupees, same yarn which has used for manufacturing of a trouser, it's selling at a market at amount of a more than a thousand rupees. So more profit margin is to as the finished product as compared to the yarn or fabric. As compared to yarn or fabric, the more profit margin, it can be as a possible through the possible through the manufactured goods. Clear? Next is a jute industry. Jute industry. Next industry, important industry is a jute industry. Jute industry is one of the important agro-based industries of India. Agro-based <coughs> industries of India, which is based upon a agricultural raw materials. It stands <coughs> next to the cotton textiles next to the cotton textiles because of its importance 
India is the largest producer of raw jute and second largest producer. India is the largest. India is the largest producer of a raw jute and second largest exporter of a jute products in a world market. World market. <clears throat> the leading exporter is as the Bangladesh, our nearest and the strongest competitor, competitor in a field of a jute products. Before of the partition of a country, India it was as a leading producer of jute products in a world market. The reason is that the hot and humid weather conditions of hot and humid weather conditions of deltaic regions of northeastern states favorable for production of jute. But after the partition of a country, the major jute producing area has gone towards the Bangladesh. Now as a West Bengal is the major producer of jute in India, jute in India, <clears throat> India's first jute mill set up at Rishra, R-I-S-H-R-A, Rishra near Calcutta in 1855, 1855, 1855, most of the mills are, sorry, most of jute mills are concentrated in a Hooghly region, Hooghly region of West Bengal, Hooghly region of West Bengal, which is considered as the 70 mills are concentrated on this region, 70 mills. 70 mills are concentrated in a Hooghly region of West Bengal. Hooghly region of West Bengal. Now the locational factors which are responsible for the growth of the concentration of a jute mills in a adjoining parts of a Calcutta. Adjoining parts of Calcutta are first nearness to the Calcutta port, nearness to Kolkata port, Kolkata port for export of jute products, jute products, dense growth of population in West Bengal, high density of population in West Bengal provided the cheaper availability of labor, cheaper availability of labor, cheaper availability of labor, Third, close proximity of mills to close proximity of mills to jute growing areas of deltaic parts of West Bengal, deltaic soils of West Bengal supportive for the regular or easily supply of a raw jute for jute mills. Fourth, Inexpensive waterways, inex inexpensive waterways for transporting raw jute and jute products through rivers. India's longest inland waterway on a Ganga River from Alhaba to the Hooghly, it has situated on this region, through which as easily jute, raw jute and the jute products, it can easily move towards as the Calcutta port towards the Kolkata port, infrastructural facilities, banking, insurance, finance, power supply, and support of a good railway and a roadway network supported for the growth of jute industries in northeastern regions of West Bengal, northeastern states of India in West Bengal. Jute industry is the one of the important as it provides support to the approximately 2.6 lakh workers, 2.6 lakh workers and another 40 lakh small and marginal farmers are getting employment through the employment through jute industries. 
जूट इंडस्ट्रीज इंडियन जूट इंडस्ट्री इज फेसिंग द नंबर ऑफ द चैलेंजेस चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय द चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय जूट इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय जूट इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया फर्स्ट फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इंटरनेशनल मार्केट टू बी कैप्चर्ड to be captured by offering diversified offering diversified jute products of good quality at reasonable rates reasonable rates reasonable rates second rise of new competitors like bangladesh thailand Bangladesh, Thailand, Brazil, Bangladesh, Thailand, Brazil, Philippines, Egypt. In competition to the India, which has set back to the Indian jute industry. Third, Indian jute industry has to face the stiff competition from synthetic substitutes. Synthetic substitutes. for jute making mats and packing materials like polyester and nylon polyester and nylon polyester and nylon increase in a next increase in internal demand due to government policy increase in internal demand due to government policy of the use of jute packing material jute packing material which is now as a strictly followed in a parts of a most number of a metropolitan cities like as a chandigarh also use of jute packing materials jute packing materials to which as a jute products are consumed within as a country lesser we can as export towards as others lesser to export towards the others clear so these are the challenges to the indian jute industry india exports the jute bags packing materials carpets mats ropes and other products of daily usage towards the united kingdom united kingdom USA United Kingdom USA Canada China United Arab Republics Australia Russia these countries are imported the jute products like as the packing material jute bags sacks carpets mats ropes towards the united kingdom usa ghana uae saudi arabia uk australia etc etc to enhance the demand for the jute products national jute policy formulated by the government of india in 2005 to increase the total surface area under the jute production for which as a national jute policy initiated in 2005 by the government of india it aims to increase to increase production what were the objectives of a national jute policy of 2005 first to increase the area under jute production jute production second second ensure good prices to the jute growers to ensure good prices to jute growers farmers which are producing as a jute in their agriculture fields third 
increasing the use of increasing the use of jute in fabrics jute in fabrics and other items fabrics and other items <clears throat> besides of such reasons the people are concerned towards the using of a eco friendly materials which has created demand for the jute products in indian market jute products in market jute products in market clear so this is as a second agro based industries now as a third sugar industry still there any questions till there any questions yes still there any queries any questions in relation to the cotton textiles or a jute industries in india cotton textiles or jute industries in india any questions any queries now the next sugar industry sugar industry sugar industry is dependent on a sugar cane and which is located which is located in a raw material producing areas nearer to the raw material producing areas sugar industry these industries are located in a sugar cane producing raw material producing areas nearer to it sugar cane is a heavy it is as based upon a heavy raw material which is a perishable in nature which can easily dry which can easily dry sugar industry is a weight losing industry sugar industry is known as the weight losing industry because raw material required raw material required raw material required for sugar industries is larger in quantity larger in quantity than the produced finished product as compared to the finished good product a large number of a wastage release from the release from sugar industries sugar industries which can utilize for as a manure in a agriculture fields it can also use as a raw material for a burning purposes to which as a electricity can generate in a thermal power stations in thermal power station india is the second india is the second largest producer second largest producer of sugar cane second largest producer of sugar cane afterwards the china afterwards the china it occupies it occupies india occupies first place in the indigenous indigenous sugar indigenous sugar production example jaggery means gourd and khansari it plays as the first position in relation to the indigenous in relation to the indigenous sugar forms of jaggery and khansari sugar mills are ideally located in sugar cane producing areas and needed to be transported quickly soon after the harvest or else the sugar content will increase it will be as a decrease that's why the sugar industry is known as a weight losing industry a larger number of a, a larger number of a raw material which is as a desired for a manufacturing of a sugar it should be as a consumed in a shorter tenure of time if after the harvesting after the harvesting crop not utilized in a shorter tenure of time their sucrose content it will dry sucrose content it will dry under such circumstances the quality of a sugarcane will dry deprived 
quality of sugar cane deprived a total there are a total number of 460 sugar mills are spread in a 460 sugar mills spread in uttar pradesh spread in uttar pradesh bihar maharashtra bihar maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu gujarat punjab haryana and madhya pradesh and madhya pradesh 60 percentage of india's total sugar mills are concentrated in 60 60 percentage of a total sugar mills are concentrated in a parts of a uttar pradesh and bihar uttar pradesh and bihar sugar mills are managed under the cooperative societies in our country cooperatives those cooperatives which are purchasing as directly the sugar cane from the farmers and selling towards the sugar mills through which as the exploitation of a farmers it reduce exploitation of farmers reduce in india through the functioning of selling of a sugar cane through the cooperative societies according to the recent observations the concentration of a sugar mills is increasing in a south india most number of a sugar mills are concentrated towards the southern india so what are the reasons responsible for the reasons responsible for the concentration of a concentration of sugar mills in southern india what are the reasons first higher sucrose content sugar cane producing in a southern india parts of a tamil nadu karnataka and a maharashtra it's having as a high sucrose content because of which these are concentrated towards the southern india second higher productivity and production higher productivity and production production at a larger in scale practice in a southern states southern states as compared to the punjab and haryana in punjab and haryana land as specifically used for a production of a cereal crops wheat and rice but in a southern india a large extensive area which is as the less fertile less fertile as compared to the alluvial soils these soils are used for a production of a sugar cane which is the annual crop which is the annual crop so higher productivity and production third cooler climate ensures the longer crushing season cooler climatic conditions of southern india which ensures as the longer crushing period crushing period but in another india generally as the sugar cane has it has uh, harvest in a month of a uh, december and january afterwards during as a february and march when temperature starts to increase this is as a adversely impact on a sucrose content so cooler climatic conditions and longer crushing period supportive for the growth of a sugar industry in southern india and fourth one as a success of a cooperative societies success of cooperative societies and availability of labor sugarcane is a labor intensive crop which has as required a large number of the workforce at the time of the sowing and the harvesting still as a machinery has not developed through which as a harvesting work it can be as a done through as a efficiently manual labor cheaper manual labor desired for a production of harvesting of sugar cane harvesting of sugar cane clear so what are the problems associated with the sugar industry in india problems associated with the sugar industry in india first seasonal nature seasonal nature of industry seasonal nature of industry second old and inefficient methods of production we can see as a obsolete machinery also 
old machinery old and inefficient methods of production methods of production used in a sugar industries third transport delay in reaching transport delay in reaching sugar cane towards the industries sugar cane towards the industries sugar cane towards the industries fourth prevailing corruption in buying and transporting prevailing corruption in buying and transporting sugar cane to mills sugar cane to mills fifth fifth lack of efficient use of baggage lack of efficient use of baggage in a sugar industries machinery in a sugar industry technology in sugar industry sixth delay in payments delay in payments to farmers delay in payments to farmers delay in payments to farmers reducing their emphasis towards the production of a sugar cane compared to the other crops if the payment has not given to the farmers on time then in the next year such farmers they will not produce the sugar cane delay in payments one more erratic power supply most number of a sugar mills sugar mills their production is affected by the supply of electricity supply of electricity why because most number of a sugar mills are concentrated towards the those sites where the population living at a larger in number so in such areas power supply is basically given to the settlements lesser towards as a industries this is also a problem related with the sugar industries sugar industries sugar industries clear these are the problems associated with the sugar industries in india sugar industry is known as a sick industry sick industry sick s i c k sick industry reason because of the low production production as per the demand this is as a lesser occur in a sugar industries sugar industries that's why these are known as a sick industry clear so this is as a end of agro based industries first as a cotton textiles second jute industries third as the third as the sugar industries now as a mineral based industries mineral based industries next as the next source of raw material the type of industries are the mineral based industries mineral based industries industries using the minerals as their raw materials are termed as mineral based industries example iron and steel industries petrochemicals cement automobiles aluminum etc in which as a first as a iron and steel industries iron and steel industries iron and steel industri industries are crucial for the development of crucial for the development of the economy of a country iron and steel industries are crucial for the development of the economy of a country and industrialization it is as the basic industry it is as iron and steel industries are the basic industries which are supportive for the production in other industries without the use of a iron and steel industries infrastructure it can't be as a setup and a machines it can't manufacture steel is needed for manufacturing of equipments like as a mining construction 
एग्रीकल्चरल मशीनरी ट्रांसपोर्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन मटीरियल्स मेडिकल एंड साइंटिफिक इक्विपमेंट्स डिफेंस एंड अदर डिफेंस एंड अदर डिफेंस एंड अदर साइंटिफिक इक्विपमेंट्स दैट्स वाई एज द आर एन स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज आर नोन एज अ बेसिक इंडस्ट्रीज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स विच हैज इंफ्लुएंसिंग द ग्रोथ ऑफ अ आर एन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज एज द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ अ रॉ आयरन ओर इन अ लार्जर क्वान्टिटीज लार्ज क्वान्टिटीज ऑफ अ रॉ आयरन ओर अवेलेबल इन आर कंट्री विच इज सपोर्टिव फॉर अ ग्रोथ ऑफ आर एन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज there are mostly as the integrated steel plants integrated mini steel plants are located in our country in relation to the iron and steel industries india is the largest producer of sponge iron sponge iron in world market in world market generally as a iron and steel industries iron and steel industries are influenced by the location of a smelting centers those smelting centers of a iron which are known as a blast furnace where impurities of a iron ore separated and pig iron can utilize for any purposes first of all as the raw material the raw iron ore imported towards the iron ore imported towards the smelting centers in blast furnace iron melted with relation to the fluxing with limestone iron ore is melted and limestone is fluxing material which is added and slag is removed coke is use as a source of a heat in which as a iron ore heated up at a 400 degrees celsius in that state the molten form of iron separated from the rocks that iron is known as a pig iron it is known as the pig iron pig iron is used to mix with the manganese nickel chromium manganese nickel chromium for manufacturing of steel for manufacturing of steel that steel it can be as a mold to the any shape and sizes like as a rods sheets etc most number of iron and steel industries are concentrated towards as the chhota nagpur plateau iron and steel industries are concentrated towards as the chhota nagpur plateau so what are the reasons responsible for this the iron and steel industries is also known as a weight losing industry a larger quantities of a raw iron ore require for a extraction of pig iron as per the average the one quintal of a iron ore used to extract 40 to 50 kgs of iron and remaining 40 50 60 kgs has the wastage that's why the iron and steel industry is also known as a weight losing industry weight losing industry iron and steel industries is a weight losing industry because of the removal of the impurities to obtain the metal which is as a lesser in quantity than the total weight of raw material total weight of raw material second reason responsible for the concentration of a iron and steel industries in a chota nagpur plateau is a the raw material raw material raw iron ore mined in a chota nagpur plateau chota nagpur plateau in abundant which is not available in a, any other part of a country that's why they are concentrated in a chota nagpur region chota nagpur region third a number of in iron and steel industries of a chota nagpur plateau a number of raw materials are required for example iron ore coking coal and a limestone are required at a ratio of a 
फोर रेशियो टू रेशियो वन फोर रेशियो टू रेशियो वन फॉर अ स्मेल्टिंग पर्पसेस फॉर स्मेल्टिंग पर्पसेस स्मेल्टिंग पर्पसेस एंड ऑल दी सच मटीरियल्स आर इजिली अवेलेबल इन अ छोटा नागपुर रीजन छोटा नागपुर रीजन फोर्थ रीजन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द आयरन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज इन छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू एज अ हेवी इंडस्ट्रीज हेवी इंडस्ट्रीज एसोसिएटेड विद द आयरन एंड स्टील आर लोकेटेड दे आर कंसेंट्रेटेड इन दिस रीजन कंसेंट्रेटेड इन दिस रीजन विच कैन बी एज अ कंज्यूम द आयरन फॉर अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ अदर यूनिट्स लाइक द लोकेशन ऑफ अ लोकोमोटिव इंजिन रेलवे इंजिन इन विशाखापट्टनम एंड कानपुर विशाखापट्टनम एंड कानपुर ऑटोमोबाइल आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन दिस रीजन ड्यू टू एज अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ अ आयरन एफिशियंट नेटवर्क नेक्स्ट एज एफिशियंट नेटवर्क ऑफ अ ट्रांसपोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेलवे इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ रेलवे फॉर फॉर transporting the raw material and afterwards of finished products to the markets finished products to the market because of the these regions the chota nagpur plateau is concentrated by the concentrated by the concentrated by the iron and steel industries exclusion of this the as the regular supply of a electricity and the power abundant skilled labor banking finance insurance facilities nearness to the markets presence of a large industrial estates are also influencing as the growth of iron and steel industries in a chota nagpur plateau clear chota nagpur plateau india's first iron and steel industry tisco it was as a set up in a 1907 at jamshedpur tisco set up in 1907 at jamshedpur presently in a jharkhand presently it's on a jharkhand 1907 at jamshedpur by the jn tata jamshed ji nusarwan ji tata jamshed ji nusarwan ji tata set up the first tata iron steel company in jamshedpur at present jamshedpur in jharkhand in 1907 1907 at present there are a total number of 10 integrated steel plants are located in our country which are directly managed by the steel authority of india limited steel authority of india limited manage which is as the responsible for the functioning of iron and steel industries in india iron and steel industries in india concentration of iron and steel industries in this region as due to as a work of steel authority of india limited this public sector firm responsible for manufacturing of steel in our country clear any questions ashin sucrose content dries if the sugar cane harvested afterwards it if when it will be as not consumed in a shorter tenure of time due to the dry weather conditions hotter weather conditions sucrose content it will dry from the sugar cane 